All right, appraisers, this is Brandon with Spark, and today I'm going to show you a new feature that we just added, which is that Spark will automatically calculate your time adjustments based on what you say is the uh, percent adjustment that you want to make. So let me show you how it works here. And also, I should uh, say that it, Spark will now also help with the sale price to list price ratio adjustment if you also want to make that. So, okay, now let's get into it. Essentially, you have to have a grid with at least one closed sale in Spark, and you also have to have done a market analysis. And then essentially what happens is when you hit export, you ha now have these two new buttons. The first one is apply time adjustments, and the next one is apply price ratio adjustments. So if you want to apply a time adjustment, it's going to look like this by default. It's going to have a zero here, as if you aren't going to make any time adjustments. That's the default setting every time. But if you do want to make a time adjustment, Spark shows you the analyses you wanted it to perform on for sale price, I should say. And so you can look at those and decide what you think the time adjustment should be. And then I can say, okay, let's do it at 1%. And also, you can have it set to per month, per quarter, per year, however you want it to be. And that will also be reflected down here. Uh, so whatever your general setting is in Spark, spark as far as how you want it to calculate things whether it's per month per quarter per half year or per year spark will do that there so i can say i want to apply the time adjustments at let's just say one percent a month and you can also choose whether you want to apply those time adjustments based on the contract date of the closed sale or the sale date of that sale and you can also choose to round to various numbers or you can also choose to only apply that adjustment to properties that closed or contracted over a certain number of days prior to the effective date. So if you don't want to adjust for things, you know, within 60 days, then you would just put a 60 here. Or if you want 30 days, you put a 30. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and change that back to 60 just to show you how it works. And then when you're all set, you hit done. And if you realize you made a mistake, you want to change it, you just click the button again and change it to whatever you want. And the next time you use Spark, it will be back to a 0% again. It'll assume you're not making a time adjustment until you go in and tell it. Uh, all right, and then for the price ratio adjustment, you just click that button. It's a little bit more straightforward. Um, basically, it will Spark will show you the sale price to list price ratio analyses that you wanted it to perform. So that could any, be anywhere between one and four cards here. I have these four different analyses being run for myself, and I can see that it's actually 100%. Now, if I put in 100%, then you can see that Spark will not put in an adjustment, and it tells you that right here. But just for the sake of this demo, let's say it was 99%, and what that means is Spark is going to apply a downward 1% adjustment. And I just hit done when I'm all set. And then when you hit go, or if you're using ACI or click forms, you hit report data, then Spark is going to go and create the file, send the information over into your report, and then essentially you'll be able to see in your report what exactly it's going to look like. Now, let me go ahead and pull up that report here. All right, so here's the report. Now, if I scroll down, you can see right here that I have my time adjustments applied, and you can see that Comp 1 doesn't have one, and that's because it contracted within 60 days of my effective date. And by the, by the way, by default, Spark will use contract date, um, but you can just change that to sale date like I showed you a few minutes ago. Um, okay, and let's go ahead and scroll down, and you can see it has zeros up here. This is where the price ratio adjustment will go, so if you have made a price ratio adjustment anywhere in the grid, um, then they'll put zeros for the properties or for the comps that, that do not have an adjustment. And let's go ahead and scroll down here. So 4, 5, and 6, no price ratio adjustment because they're closed sales, but there are time adjustments. Same with 7, 8, and 9. Got my time adjustments in there. And then 10, 11, 12. So 10 is a closed sale, so it looks like the rest. But then 11 and 12 are pending sales. So it did apply the price ratio adjustment, which I chose as um, 1%. And no date of sale adjustments because these are not closed sales. And then comps 14 and 15 are active listings. Same thing. No date of sale adjustments because they're not closed, but we do have the price ratio adjustment. 
and that's all put in there. And then very importantly, Spark will also load into your work file exactly how it calculated all of that. So when you go into work file, you want to click on property report, which is where all of your information regarding your actual comps in your grid is located. And you want to scroll down to the page right after your subject property information. So here's my subject property page. Scroll down past that. And right here, before it gets into all the details on comp one, it gives me my adjustment information. And so first, I have my market condition adjustments. It tells me what I chose. So I chose to make 1% per month adjustment and to not adjust for anything within 60 days. It tells me if I adjust basically translate that 1% a month to a daily adjustment, then that's this number right here. And Spark then applies that um, daily adjustment to how many days from the contract date to the effective date or from the sale date to the effective date. And so down here, it gives you the actual formula. So of course, that's important. You got to know exactly how this is being calculated. There's your formula. And then here's the numbers for each of your closed sales. So you can Days to adjust, there's days to adjust, times daily adjustment, there's daily adjustment, times sale price, there's sale price equals the adjustment, and there's your adjustment. And you can see in this case, this property closed or contracted, I should say, 59 days before the effective date. So there is no adjustment because it's within the 60 days that the appraiser chose or that I chose in this case. So there's zero adjustment. Um, but then starting with comp two, it was 81 days. 81 days times, times my daily adjustment times my sale price gets me that adjustment. And that's the way it works and it goes right on down the board. And those are the numbers that went into the grid. And then for the price ratio adjustment, it tells me that I chose 99% and that was and that's how it got to the negative 1% and it tells you that it just subtracts from 100. So 99 minus 100 is 1% or negative 1% I should say. And it multiplies that by the price to get the adjustment. And here we go. So there, these are my non-closed comparables. And so I've got this, which was a pending. My 99 minus 100 gave me a negative 1% times 277.5, and that got me to my negative $2,800. You can see it rounded that because I chose to round to the nearest 100. And that's the way it works. So, um, so yeah, I think that's it. Thanks everybody for watching. We hope you like the new feature. Again, though, if you don't want to use that new feature, you don't like it for any reason, when you're in Spark, simply don't click on these buttons. Just leave them alone, and then Spark will not put anything into your report, and it will just work like it always has. Um, all right. Thanks again for watching.